Welcome to the owner's class video for the Singer Featherweight Model C240 sewing machine. In this video, we'll show you what you need to know to successfully set up your machine for sewing. Some of the topics we'll cover are winding the bobbin, threading the top of the machine, threading the needle, selecting stitches and presser feet, making a buttonhole, changing the needle, and more. Let's begin with a quick tour of your machine and its main parts. The first thing we're going to do is plug in the power cord and then plug in the foot control. Press this switch to turn the machine on and you'll know that it's on when you see the light come on. Up here is your carry handle and when you open the top lid of the machine you can see all the stitches that are built into your Featherweight C240 sewing machine. This is the bobbin winding spindle and the bobbin winding stopper, your spool pin, a thread guide, and another thread guide. This is your bobbin winding tension disc. This is your thread tension, which can be used for fine tuning the look of your stitches. This is the presser foot pressure dial, and that can be used for fine tuning the presser foot pressure for a very light or very heavy weight fabrics. This is your thread take-up lever. This is the start-stop button, which lets you sew without use of the foot control if you want to. This is the reverse button. This is your presser foot lifter, which raises and lowers your presser foot. This is the integrated even feed system, which feeds fabric from the top and bottom at the same time so your fabrics are fed through the machine precisely. We'll show you that in more detail later in the video. This is your presser foot, your needle, and this is your built-in needle threader. This is your needle plate, your bobbin cover, and this is your removable storage compartment. It slides off the end of the machine, converting your machine to a free arm. This is great for hemming pants, sewing sleeve cuffs, and so on. And when we take a look at our removable storage compartment, it actually has a compartment in the back and in the front. In the back is an additional spool pin and a buttonhole foot. And in the front part of your removable storage compartment are some additional accessories like spool caps, extra needles, extra bobbins, and some really great presser feet that we'll show you later in the video.